All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Dave Kramer again. There's uh, Kramer Unstuck. And, oh, man. And I was researching corporatism. Uh, C-O-R-P-O-R-A-T-I-S-M. Okay. Man. <sighs> corporatism, uh, it, which is also, uh, I'm going to get my notes up here. Corporate state, uh, corporate statism. Let's see. Corporate statism, state corporatism, or simply corporatism. Okay. I'm going to go back to Webster here. Uh, nope, that ain't what I want. There we go. Uh, the organization of a society into in industrial and professional corporations serving as organs of political representation and exercising control over persons and activities within their jurisdictions. Authoritarianism. That's it. It's this power-hungry uh, corporate uh, types that want to have control and they become political. And uh, they, they, you know, it's tyranny. Okay. Here, uh, corporate statism most commonly manifests itself as a ruling party acting as a mediator between the workers, capitalists, okay, they're different from capitalists, and other major state interests by incorporating them institutionally into the government. All right, the WEF in Davos, okay, Davos, Switzerland. Okay, the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Uh, they're corporatists. They're, they want corporatism. They want statism. They want global control. Uh, I would be, I guess you call uh, uh, economic uh, or let's see. Um, I would be more of a corporate nationalist which I think I understand that uh, corporate statism differs from corporate nationalism in that it is a social mode of organization rather than economic nationalism operating by means of private business corporations. And the way I understand this, okay, you have a Walmart. They're a corporate statist, okay? During uh, the, the, what happened three years ago, uh, um, they were allowed to stay open. These big box stores, these big corporate entities were allowed to stay open. Mom and pop stores were penalized. They were closed. They lost their, some of them shut down completely. Uh, and that's statism. We have control. We, we're, we're with the government and we have control. They, they will help us and they will screw you. It's, it's, it's crap. Okay. Now, when it comes to free markets, now Davos man, uh, which, uh, I don't know really Davos man, if that's talking about the corporation, uh, but most of these corporations will be on the side of the leftist side. All right. And he derives most of his income directly or indirectly from state patronage. If he is in the private sector, he is more likely to be a lobbyist, politician, or bureaucrat than a businessman. He will be an instinctive monopolist, keen to persuade ministers and officials to raise barriers against his potential rivals. I'm giving you money, okay? I'm donating to you. And what I want you to do is I want you to screw that little guy over there, okay? Now, I, I look at a victim of this, if you ever heard of... Uh, Killdozer, there was a guy, this was a number of years ago, where a big, uh, I think the, I think it was a, uh, I can't think of the word now, a developer came in and he wanted to build a, I don't know if it was a mall or something, and it was going to take this guy's business. 
And this guy tried to go through the political channels, the legal channels, and go to court and all that. But uh, this uh, developer and the government had the power, and they they screwed this guy. And then he built a dozer. He built a dozer. He welded steel plates on it, and he went around the one day, and he destroyed uh, these politicians' businesses and buildings and stuff like that until finally he took his own life. Uh, I would be, I'm more into the mom and pop. I'm into the, but around here where I live, we have uh, family-owned businesses where uh, they're autonomous, okay? Um, they're not associated, you could say, with, with government. I'm sure... They talk, they have to deal with these people, but it's not to where the government owns them and they're giving money and saying, screw this guy over. Okay. Uh, it's a, uh, the, the theory and practice of uh, corporatism is organizing society into corporations subordinate to the state. That's just not and and a, a lot of these uh, uh, American companies are not American anymore. Okay, they're globalist. They have globalist agendas. They don't have nationalist agendas. Uh, and I I think we need to get back to that. Okay, statism, tyranny, authoritarianism. This this we're a democracy in a way, yes, but we are a republic. Okay, a, cons a, f a constitutional federal republic. And I am a nationalist. And that's not to be mean to anybody else. Okay, which, you know, when you it's like when you're a nationalist and they say, oh, my gosh, you must be a supremacist. No, I'm just I my country. I love my country. I want my country to be, uh, you know, you know, I mean. Uh, there, there's there's bad capitalism, but there's good capitalism. Okay, there's a crony capitalism, which I'm I'm going to look into. There's so much. I mean, there's there's, gosh, there's, uh, man, there's so much stuff that I I was looking through this and I'm thinking I I got to limit this to something here because it's it's it it there's business, uh, what is it? corporatism and all kinds of other stuff. But yeah, um, you know, the, the WEF is, 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 you know, trying to control a lot. They have a lot of uh, bad agendas. It's all globalist. And, uh, you know, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, corporate statism, state corporatism, or simply corporatism is a political culture and a form of corporatism, the proponents of which claim to believe that corporate groups should form the basis of society and the state. Uh, so in other words, uh, you work for a giant corporation, you're also working for the government. And, yeah, they're the government and they're within the year. It's like, no, sorry. By this principle, the state requires all citizens to belong to one of several officially designated interest groups based generally on economic sector, which consequently have great control of their members. Such interest groups thus attain public status and they or their representatives participate with national policy making, at least formally, which will screw with the little guy. You know, be, be, be a nationalist. OK, I support local business. Yes, there are some things that I got to buy from some of these big box stores, but it's I, I limit it. There's some stuff that is cheaper where you can't, if you try to get it uh, somewhere else, you're going to be paying, you know, it's like, are you kidding me? And, and I'm kind of forced to do that, but I keep that to at least maybe one or two items. With Walmart right now, it's one, and that's a sleep aid that works for me. It's, you know, so I guess you could say I support that in a way, but, you know, 
Uh, but I don't support, I, I, I rather have them uh, come back into the fold and become a nationalist, corporate nationalist, you know? And, uh, you know, uh, we, got, we got a lot of uh, these corporations that own sports teams, then, and that's globalist. You have a DEI agenda, which comes with uh, the woke uh, mindset. You know, where you have to, uh, you know, put certain flags out and, you know, you have to give money to certain uh, organizations that are diametrically opposed to anything but their own agenda. Okay, they're certainly not patriots. But uh, that's uh, what I wanted to get into. And like I said, it's uh, examples... Okay, you have a Burning Man, which is mostly a, a left, uh, a leftist uh, uh, thing, uh, is all about self-expression and rejection of corporatism and capitalism. You had a uh, Occupy Wall Street, if I'm correct. Uh, this was a while back, where I haven't heard of any heard of them lately, but they were against the corporatism. I think. Okay. And uh, the corporate tech, corporate techniques uh, are trying to achieve broadly leftist aims, and leftist aims are socialism and communism. It's it's not freedom. Uh, uh, it does it's it does not embody the what an Amer what America is about. America is about rugged individualism. It's about the individual freedom. It's about you can start your business. Okay. You see that there's a need for something. Okay. Maybe and 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 look at some of these uh companies that 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 open up, you know, where you, you have uh, a need for something and you start a business and you provide that need okay you're an individual you have your own business it's a lot of work uh but if you're left alone and you don't have one of these giant corporations just coming in there and destroying your business and shutting and, and that as far as i'm concerned in america should be illegal yes i believe in life liberty and pursuit of happiness but i do not believe in coming in and destroying someone's livelihood because I have influence with the government. I gave them a donation and now they're helping me to destroy you. Okay, so corporatism isn't good, kids. And uh, I'm going to do another video on capitalism. There's there's bad capitalism. There's crony capitalism. I haven't looked into any of that. I don't. I know, you know, um, some about capitalism. I mean, but I really haven't thought about it or looked into it to where I really understand it uh, because there's many different forms. I think so. And like I said, crony capitalism. But. Uh, that's that's what I got today. It's like I said before, these are these videos are to help you a little bit with learning and me, I'm learning it. Okay? I hear this stuff and I'm kind of like, what what what's all this about? Well, now I'm learning and I tell you what, statism, corporate corporatism, which is the same thing, it's it's control and manipulation. It is not good. Okay? So uh that's pretty much all I got uh, today. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Like I say, whatever you want to do, you want to like, not, you want to dislike, you want to subscribe, you don't want to subscribe, you got the freedom to do that. And uh, I'm going to be coming back with more videos. And uh, like I said, I hope, I hope I can help people to, you know, at least get a somewhat of a grasp of, of some of this and learn some because like I said, I'm learning it. So that's it. That's all I got right now. And until next time, I'm Dave Kramer and this is Kramer Unstuck.